If you take all the actors in the world and see who acts most with whom, you find that they form clusters. Hollywood is one of the largest, where the actors for 90% of the time act with each other, but less often with Filipino actors or Italian actors or Chinese actors. Let's look at how these clusters work together. The British cluster is the closest to Hollywood. They act with each other about 5% of the time. The next closest is the Hollywood television actor cluster, which is a separate cluster in itself, but they too act with Hollywood about 5% of the time. Hollywood horror is a similar cluster. Hollywood keeps expanding its reach, but the first non-Hollywood cluster we find is the Japanese actors and Japanese porn actors. They don't act with each other often. It's only about 4% of the time that they tend to act with each other, therefore qualifying them as separate clusters. But these are an interconnected cluster that is independent of Hollywood. Let's look further. Hollywood also acts with Italian actors about 3.8% of the time. But the next non-Hollywood non cluster that emerges is the South Indian and North Indian actors. Though this is within the same country, it's the language divide that separates these two clusters, making them act with each other only 3.3% of the time. Hollywood keeps expanding with the old French actors and the old American actors forming a cluster, uh, forming a network, the Italian actors with the old French actors, and so on, increasing the reach of Hollywood on to most of West European and also into Spanish and uh, Mexican films. It expands further, and you'll find that the next major cluster that forms outside of Hollywood is the Chinese and the South Korean cluster who act with each other. The Chinese act with the South Koreans about 1.2% of the time. This is the first cross country cluster net, uh, cluster of movie actors that we see forming outside of Hollywood. Let's move Hollywood to one end, the Japanese, the Chinese and the Indian movie clusters to another end and see how it progresses. We find that there are still some independent clusters, Indonesian, Egyptian, Russian, Greek, Filipino, etc., who aren't yet acting with any of the major clusters. Brazilians start connecting. We find that Danish and Old Finnish connect, Italian and Yugoslavian. But it's the Russian cluster that starts acting with the Polish cluster only about 0.9% of the time. Hollywood porn starts coming in and it's interesting that it's tougher to act with mainstream Hollywood than it is if you were, let's say, a Nigerian actor or let's say a Yugoslavian actor. The network consolidates, but the Greek actors now start entering Hollywood. The Egyptian actors start entering Hollywood and you find that the Turkish, Iranian, Filipino and Indian, Indonesian actors are the only still isolated clusters that don't really act with any other clusters. Indonesian actors start merging with the Chinese cluster. The Turkish and Iranian actors form a cluster of their own. And now we have six major clusters, the Hollywood cluster, the Indian cluster, the Turkish Iranian cluster, the Chinese Indonesian South Korean cluster, the Japanese cluster, and finally, Filipino movies, which still are standalone. Chinese films start connecting to Hollywood, merging into the mainstream of Hollywood cluster. And then the Japanese films also start connecting with the South Korean films, again, merging into that mainstream cluster. So we have Bollywood and Iranian and Turkish films left out as standalone along with Filipino as well. Now, mm -hmm. if you look at the overall network, it takes a few iterations, but eventually you find that the Indian cluster starts connecting with the British cluster. And soon enough, the Iranian cluster starts connecting with the Hollywood cluster, leaving Filipinos as the most independent of the movie major movie actor clusters that there are in the world.